difference between a macronutrient and a micronutrient? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain these differences between micronutrients and macronutrients and how they work together in our body. If you are working towards your level 3 nutrition exam and you haven't already downloaded our revision pass pack, make sure you check out the link that I share with you at the end of the video. Today we're going to explore three steps in really understanding the differences between micro and macronutrients. But before we do so, I just want to explain really how our body works and how this is really similar to how a car operates. In the same way of how you have to put fuel in a car in order for it to move, and you have to look after the engine as well, as a result of that, our body is very similar. Using this analogy of the car, we can really break down and understand how macronutrients serve our bodies and how micronutrients serve our bodies in very different ways. The first one is macronutrients. Now macronutrients are like the fuel you put in your car, so the petrol or the diesel. And that's because they literally give you the calories to be able to allow you to get from A to B, not only in terms of your motion, but also in your daily physical activities that you might do. So the calories that you consume will come from carbohydrates, fats and proteins and you need these in large quantities and that's why they're called macronutrients, so large meaning macro. So when you break this down you can go, well actually the macronutrients that I consume are the calories. These are like the fuel that I put in the car. If I don't have enough fuel then I'm not going to be able to get from A to B or I'm not going to be able to function properly within my day. The second element is micronutrients. So micronutrients, instead of being like the fuel in the car, these instead are like the engine oil in the car. Really, really important. And they are important because they contribute to the processes of our body. So if you relate that to the car, they allow the engine to go around. They allow the actual car to work properly. And the same thing happens in our body. These micronutrients allow the processes that happen in our body to happen. And these micronutrients you'll know as vitamins and minerals. There's lots of different vitamins and minerals that you need to be aware of as part of your level three nutrition. However, the main things you need to know is that micronutrients allow our body to work efficiently and effectively. And we need those in small amounts rather than the large amounts we were just talking about in relation to the macronutrients. So micronutrients are small, micro equals small, macro equals large. And that's an easy way to be able to think about the differences of them. So the engine oil is there to help us with the processes in our body. And that's exactly what the micronutrients do. The third step is about understanding the fact that macro and micronutrients come together packaged in our food and drink that we consume on a daily basis. For example, if we were to have an apple, inside that apple, as you eat it, there's macronutrients, which are mostly carbohydrates, so a lot of carbohydrates in there. That's the macronutrient, that's the calorie quantity within it. But there are loads of micronutrients inside this same apple, which include antioxidants and phytochemicals, and those help to the process. So you've got this little package inside this apple, both of macro and micronutrients. When we're giving advice to clients, we wanna consider the fact that all of the types of foods that we do eat have a different quantity of macros, i.e. calories, and a different quantity of micronutrients, which is the vitamins and the minerals. So we wanna make sure that they're getting a balanced approach of both of these. Generally speaking, in terms of healthy eating, if your client's got a good mixture of colours on their plate, and lots of different variation, especially lots of fresh fruit and vegetables in there, they're going to be getting plenty of micronutrients just by consuming those types of foods. However, if they have a lot of beige foods, for example, let's say they have McDonald's chips instead of this apple, these McDonald's chips will have a lot of macros in them, a lot of calories, but not very many micronutrients. So that's how you can start to understand whether they are dense in nutrients or not. Are they dense in macro in terms of lots of calories and not very many micronutrients? Or are they foods like say the apple that has less calories but a lot more micronutrients? And you can then tip the balance as to what your client needs to keep them healthy. So are they looking for a lower calorie diet? Are they looking for something that is gonna fill their body with lots of micronutrients? or are they looking for something that has the reverse of this? Generally speaking, the advice we give to our clients is gonna be encouraging them to have foods that are really high in micronutrients. If you are currently studying towards your level three nutrition exam, then 
make sure you've downloaded our revision pass pack. If you haven't done that already, then hit the link that is with this video and you will be able to download that immediately. You'll get the first day, which is mock questions. And then the second day is gonna give you a whole module all about understanding digestion as part of your nutrition. So it's that very first module taken from our revision mastery series. And then the third day is gonna really help you with the stress and anxiety side of managing that emotion during your exam day. If you've already downloaded our revision pass pack, and you want more help with your level three nutrition revision, then please do check out our revision mastery series that's designed to help you pass your exam with absolute confidence. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Remember down below this video, you've also got lots of mock questions that you can go through and help check whether you've understood everything I've just spoken about. And what I'd love you to do is to pop your answers in the comments box so that we know how you're getting on. And obviously you can leave us any questions that you have as well. Whilst you're there, please do hit like and subscribe and make sure you share the video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.